Hi, biology peeps. This is a short promise video for Thursday the 30th to get you um, all filled in on that fit, invertebrate fill-in sheet up through worms. I'm also sending you a couple of links to some other worm videos. Aren't worms fun? Um, on the original visual packet that I sent you, there's this there's this uh, thingamabob right here. We got uh, comparison of the number of species within groups in the animal kingdom. And we did sponges already and idarians like jellyfish and hydra and whatnot here. Um, and I guess like sea anemones and stuff like that. But now we're talking about these next three right here. Flatworms, roundworms, and annelids, or segmented worms. And you can see here that boy, the numbers still seem like they're really big, even though compared to insects, not even close. But there are 10,000 different kinds, different species of, of flatworms. There are 12,000 kinds of roundworms, and most roundworms are parasitic, which sounds super bad like if your dog gets a shot or uh, whatever for like uh, roundworms for heartworms that's what we're talking about when they get worm shots it's usually roundworms and then annelids or segmented worms 8700 that includes things like um well leeches would be in there and uh tapeworms is super nasty and uh and earthworms those are kind of like our big the big three but 8700 types of worms i think i need to send you one too but oh wait i think that's caterpillars i'll double check it's probably good enough all right so you got that and uh, also you're gonna have this guy handy i believe we're gonna try to do a lab with these planarians brown planarian flatworms you'll watch the videos about them looks like in a couple of weeks we'll be doing a lab lab 15c worms part one Flatworms and nematodes. Yep, so try to get some living ones and we're going to do stuff to them. You could even get a chance to, to slice them in half and see if they'll generate back the other part. We got to keep them in some water and stuff. So, anyway, that's coming up like 11, 12, 13. We'll be doing some of that. And then uh, the next lab after that will be um, like earthworms. We'll dissect those. Anyway, you want to have this available when you watch those things. So you can kind of see uh, you got the whole map over here of all their different parts. And they'll be talking about their pharynx here. They, um, Beth and I were talking about this last night. They eat uh, and poop out of the same hole. That's kind of gross. Actually, it's not kind of gross. It's like super gross. Like their digestive system is like goes in and then it, different stuff comes out, which is doesn't sound very sanitary okay those are planarians they kind of look like cross-eyed weirdos um those are eye spots they do kind of have some type of sensory thing but they're not like fully functioning eyes like like we've got eyes okay last thing here let's fill in uh the worksheet we did sponges and we did jellyfish hydras and sea anemones and man of wars uh we want to get this in right here the worms three complete phylums first phylum platy means flat helminthes means worm so it's pretty self-explanatory there flat worms platy means flatty say that three times you know, platy means flatty platy means flatty anytime you see platy like platypus platypus flat worms so our main example that you're going to see the video is about is called the planarian and then we got a couple others, the book. You'll read about the flukes in the book and tapeworms too. Tapeworms have a super creepy head. Well, I think tapeworms are actually are actually in a different phylum. Hang on, let me double check. Yes, unfortunately, they're flatworms. And I have some missionary stories about those that you probably you probably don't want to hear about that. Okay. Nematodes are the roundworms. Again, uh, we'll be looking at some slides. We won't do anything live with these. But Ascaris, I believe we've got some of those under slides. You can check out different body parts, especially their heads. Um, yep. 
difference between males and females. You can read about that in the book. So round worms, it's cross-sectional. They're round flat worms cross-sectionally. They're like this. And then thirdly, the segmented worms, Annelida, segmented worms. And our most typical one is earthworm, but we also, we also got leeches, leeches in there. Uh, some of you have gotten leeches on your real people camp. It was not fun. Real people camp um, getting some leeches. Oh, yeah. Um, right, like I said, coming up in a couple of weeks, we're going to do some dissections. Um, we'll do some chopping up of uh, planarians, and we'll do some dissections of earthworms, which are readily available, right? But these ones are like, these ones will be long. And we're going to count their parts and open their guts up and see what their last meal was. What was your last meal? Just curious. Um, send me a response about that for one bonus point. Hope you're listening. Have a nice day.